All right, Acts 16, verse 26. I love this, what God told me today. He said, now I want you to see the scripture and I want you to read together. If you may, I want you to read louder. One, two, three, go read. Wait, wait, did you just hear that? When Paul and Silas began to pray, to sing and to worship, the Bible says suddenly the prison foundations, somebody say foundations. The Bible says that the foundations began to shake. And immediately, all doors were opened. And every person's chains were loosed. Did you hear this statement? What happened? What shook? Foundations. And when foundations shook, what happened? All doors were opened. All doors were opened. Psalm 11 from verse 3 to 5. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? And God told me, he said, I want to make an appointment with my people and I want to fix their foundations. Let me say something to you. Let me say something to you. If you're watching me, wherever you're watching me from, or you're here, I want to say this thing to you. Whatever you are, you are built on a particular foundation. If you are walking with God, but the foundation has not been dealt with, it will still follow you. Scientifically, it is proven that your DNA, what you are right now, it is what your great-grandfather was. And the same is spiritually. Oh, am I talking to somebody here? Your fourth generation from now, your children's children of their children's children, there will be a DNA of you. And your great-grandfathers, great-grandfathers of their great-grandfathers, their blood is your blood. You have inherited, scientifically, you have their DNA. And that does not change spiritually. Now, can you imagine Moses and imagine Elijah? Elijah, as powerful prophet as he was, there was something he inherited from his father which was not removed. And this was suicide. All miracles Elijah performed. There was a certain day he woke up in the morning and began to think to kill himself. And he walked into the desert to kill himself. And he kept on walking. He said, I will keep on walking. I'll keep for 30 days. Just walking in the desert. Until he was far away from water, from food, and he fell down. A prophet of God. There was a foundation he did not deal with. I'm not talking to you. Until God said, let us send an angel. So God sent an angel with food. To go and give the prophet. Say, ah, ah, prophet, what's happening now? <laughs> prophet, are you okay? No, no, I want to die. Say, no, 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 no. You can't die now. The, you have not done the assignment. So an angel came with food and water. And he said, eat. That's how he survived. But personally, he was committing suicide. 
and he was a man of God. And the foundation was not dealt with. And we have people in church today who are born again, but you ask, they even think of committing suicide. I just want to die. Because there's a foundation which was not dealt with. Am I talking to someone here? Let me give another example. When an angel came to Gideon, he said, Gideon, a mighty man of valor. The Bible says, Gideon said, who am I? For I come from a poor family. The problem is the family he was coming from. What he was, it is because where he was coming from. Tell your neighbor, what you are, it is because of the family you are coming from. If your family, there are financial problems, you too get affected. Can you imagine if you were born in a rich family, could it be like this? So you are what your family is. Now, if we are not serious, and if we do not break that foundation, you will remain like that. You will actually become 50 years, 60 years, still like how your family has been. That pattern, how your life is, it is exact copy of what happens in your family. And if you do nothing about it, even your children will suffer like that. Somebody raise up a hand and say, break! Hear me. Some say foundations. foundations. So, imagine, imagine your, your father has diabetes, his uncle had diabetes, your young brother has diabetes. A foundation is not being broken here. So what we need to do is to disconnect you from the foundation Am I talking to somebody here? Somebody said, so we are disconnecting ourselves. We are disconnecting ourselves from any foundation. Now hear this statement. Have you noticed, you see that you have a marital problem. <sighs> Serious marriage problem. But your sister, the same problem. Your uncle, same problem. Your, your mom had the same problem. Or your other aunt has the same problem. What could be the issue? Ask me a question. What could be the issue? Foundations. Foundations. And these are sermons we don't just have to make them worse and stop. No. That's not how we deal with the devil. These are sermons we must be doing them 10 times a year. That's not how we do the devil. The devil... If he came in this direction and you cast him out, he would try to find another direction to penetrate. And we must also cast him out. If he comes through the window, we also cast him out. Every foundation. Sir, are you hearing me? Say foundations. Must break. Now, imagine this. Imagine this. Imagine this, that you are having foundations. I once shared this message uh, about Abraham. Abraham was, his wife was barren. There was a serious problem Abraham did not deal with. A very serious problem Abraham did not deal with. Abraham. His wife was buried. His son. His son also could not conceive. Buried. His son's sons by the name Jacob also married Rachel. The same pattern manifested in Rachel. Somebody said, break now. So I disconnect myself. Are you seeing this? What is going on here? What is happening? 
foundations are happening. You find a person makes business, no profits. Check your brother, same. Your aunt, same. No one makes money in your family. Even if they put so much effort in a business, nobody. And because you are so natural, you are not in the spirit, you will not detect it. You will not notice it. That something here, there is some witchcraft happening here. I need to disconnect it. And the reason why you are born again in the family, it is because God knew that you are the only one who can break the pattern. But you are not breaking it. You are also a victim. You need, you need today, today, you, you need to be delivered today. It's even how you are answering. It's like you are not, you are not sure whether you need deliverance or not. Do you hear me? If the foundations are not broken, now, so they took they took Paul and Cyrus and they put them in prison. When God saw. He knew how to deal with their problem. So God went into the foundations of the prison. Oh, am I talking to somebody here? God went into what? Foundations of the prison and began to shake. God did not shake the doors to open. God shook with the foundations. When God dealt with the foundations, the Bible says, and the doors automatically when we deal with your foundations, your financial doors, your marital doors, they will automatically. Raise up a hand and say, every door that is closed. Say, I command them to open. As I deal with my foundation. Sit down. Now, foundations are very important to be dealt with. Because can you imagine, can you imagine Abraham was coming from a family which worshipped idols. It was an idol worshipper. He comes from that foundation and he just continues with ministry. He did not deal with the what? With the foundations. Moses! Moses had anger issues and he never dealt with it. In fact, Moses, when he saw someone mistreating his brother from Israel, he, out of anger, out of what? He killed that person. And he realized later he was wrong, so he ran away. After he ran away, God called him there into ministry. God said, I've called you now, be in ministry. But he didn't deal with what? The foundation of anger. He just continued. Oh, I have accepted my calling, and he continued. If you are saved, and you know there's a foundation somewhere, whether of anger, whether of lack of forgiveness, you need to deal with those foundations before you continue doing anything. But he did not do that. He just continued. So we have people who are in church, people who are born again, but they have a foundation they never dealt with. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. They have a what? Foundation. They just continued with that foundation. Now, let me give a good example. So when Moses killed a brother, ran away, God called him there. But he never dealt with with the foundation. And the Bible says when he was in ministry he began to shout at God. Moses. The only man that lived that shouted at God was Moses. He even told God that God repent. I'm telling you. Moses reached a level where he even told God to repent. Hey. 
He did not deal with the what? With the foundations. Another person who never dealt with the foundation was King David. Much as you see God loving David, but there was a foundation he never dealt with. When he killed somebody's husband, the Bible says there's blood in your hand. Did you hear that? And he never dealt with it. He never broke that foundation. He left it like that. And God gave him an assignment to build a temple. And God said, you will not build the temple. Because in your hands, there's a foundation. So in, instead of you, it will be your child who shall build the temple. There are people today, God gave them assignments. But they will never carry those assignments because of a particular foundation. Until that foundation is broken. Raise your hands and say, I break that foundation now. Am I talking to you? How come? How come? Everything in your life doesn't make sense. And the good thing is we have, <coughs> we have an example. You just, just check around your whole family. You will see that there's a particular thing that is common. No job. You're all, you're all educated. You're educated. No job, no job, or if you have a job, it's a useless job. Another one has a job, but another one has a job, but you can't understand what's happening with their life. And you're okay, you are continuing to live. Somebody said, No, I'm not okay. So, in today's prayer, we are standing to break every foundation. The enemy knows. He knows that even if you go to the right, you go to the left, you're going to come back on the same position because you have a foundation. It is in your family. It is in your life. You inherited it. That's how things are supposed to be in your life. And I'm now telling you that today we are uprooting the foundation. I can see you are ready now. I can see you are ready. I can see you are ready. You are ready. You are ready. A good example will begin to happen. How you begin to see your sister. The same sister you know. Her life will begin to change after we make a prayer. The same brother that you know. His life will begin to change after prayer. In Acts 16, go back to Acts 16 verse 26. The Bible says what? I want you to read in NIV and I want you to read louder. Acts 16, 26. Louder. One, two, three, go read. What was shaken? What was shaken? So if the devil attacks your foundation, he puts you in a spiritual prison. And we have people right now who are in a marital prison. We have people right now who are in a financial prison. We have people who are in a prison of sickness. And the Bible says God shook with the foundation. So you wonder why your life is not moving forward. Because the devil has put a foundation an evil foundation you were born from that family and everyone in that family is suffering because everyone in that family inherited they inherited that foundation it is when we break the foundation that is when we begin to see that everyone in the family is free There is power. Somebody say, every foundation be broken. Every foundation be broken. Now.
on any platform that you're watching us from, I have good news for you. If you find yourself in a place where you actually know this is if I'm operating from a foundation, that foundation will be broken in the name of Jesus. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 8, the Bible speaks of a certain group of people who were used by the still waters of youth. So God said, I will now send the mighty waters. <laughs> the Bible says, for these people, I want you to hear this, for these people are familiar to a gentle flow. I will now send a mat. Now, sometimes the devil is familiar with your gentle prayer. You, you now need to, to release a mighty prayer. Every foundation of poverty that I have operated on, and even my children, yes. there's a possibility they may even operate over the same foundation. Yes. I break it today. Today you must take things in personal, in, in your personal hands. And break the foundation and command it to fall. Every foundation of sickness oh, yes. in my life, I command you to disappear and never be found again. Any force that is trying to put you at a place where you actually know this problem. I'm operating on a wrong foundation. Until when shall your family be like this? Today. 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 End of the matter. If we make a prayer today, every foundation must be uprooted. The Bible says, for every seed that is not planted by God shall be uprooted. The Bible says what? That is not planted Every seed that is not planted by God shall be uprooted. Shall be uprooted. So we are putting every seed in your life oh, yes. that is not from God. Come on, say this word. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, I thank you for this message. Father, I thank you for this message. Say, Lord, as I raise my hands. Lord, as I raise my hands. I command every foundation. I command every foundation. Every evil foundation. Every evil foundation. To be broken. To be broken. To be uprooted. To be uprooted. In my life. In my life. In my family. In my family. In my finances. In my finances. Clap your hands and make a prayer. Yes. Violent prayer. Shakatala mando pradiahanta. Yakatuya pa. Lizo prakiahante.